to have a conversation with Camfed and we have some Camfed Association members here now. Camfed has been doing some brilliant things in collaboration with the MasterCard Foundation in Ghana supporting women, women entrepreneurs, women professionals and building women up so that they can achieve their dreams and live lives of dignity and on International Women's Day 2023 we're only saying we should embrace equity there are no better group of people to have in our studios, on our premises, than members of the Camfed Association. So I'm going to introduce my guest. We have Dr. Joanna Gunap. She's a Camfed Association member and she's a medical doctor. Good morning. Good morning. Doc, how are you doing? And she takes some amazing pictures. We're taking pictures <laughs> of Lydia Forsen and I back, Charlie. You have, you have skills. You have skills. <laughs> we also have Bushira Alira Kumuruwa. Did I get that right? Yes, please. Cool. Oh, oh, I got it. It's a beautiful name. <laughs> Thank she's you. also a Camfed Association member and she's the founder of Learners Girls Foundation. Hi, ladies. Hi. Great. So let me start with you. Sure. Doc, just tell me a bit about yourself okay. and how you even got associated with Camfed in the first place. Okay. My name is Dr. Joanna Gunab. I'm a Kama member and I'm the co founder of Silver Foundation. Uh, I got associated with Comfort through tertiary education. They sponsored me throughout my tertiary education, and then they helped me to come to where I am today. Yeah, we love it. And what about you, Shira? Yeah, my name is Kumura Lira Bushratu, founder of Learners Girls Foundation. I got in touch with Comfort through the uh, senior high school uh, support and also the tertiary scholarship as well. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. So let's talk a little bit about a little bit more actually about the support that you got from Comfort. So. I'll stay with you. All right. You mentioned that you're supported throughout your secondary education and then your tertiary education as yes, well. Please. How do you access that kind of support? Because there are lots of young women today whom we know in our setting, education has become a facade for them just because of finances. Yes. But how did you get in touch with Comfort and you know, what kind of support was given? Was it just financial? Or were there other things that supported you on the journey? So the Comfort, uh, support is for brilliant but needy students yes yeah, so you have to be economically challenged and also eager to learn you have to be good academically so I got in touch with Comfort after I filled the form got interviewed and I qualified for the scholarship package so I had uh, bursary support I had my school fees paid throughout my tertiary so the bursary support you have books um, me like ladies measure support pass and all that and giving as well so Uh, it's a whole package on its own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get your stipends, you get wow. your um, school fees, your accommodation paid, and you even get a laptop to oh, support oh, you. Oh, wow. So yeah. basically, Comfort makes sure that you have no reason not to focus exactly, on your studies. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a brilliant So you are, your education is like stable. You are so focused on what you're doing. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, and Doc, what about you? Yeah. What was mm -hmm. your support package like? I think the same thing, but what I want to add on is that Comfort doesn't just support you through school. There are a lot of entrepreneurial skills training, a lot of leadership seminars, a lot of financial training seminars. There are so many things that you go through as a member of Comfort. And it, it, it how do I put it? It kind of makes you into a whole 
being who is able to fit into society at any point in time, no matter where the angle is, and be able to survive. Wonderful. So let's talk about how this surpass change your life. I mean, there's an obvious thing that you got an education, yeah. which you maybe otherwise wouldn't have been able to access, but for comfort coming into the picture. But how is the support change? I mean, you're a medical doctor, yeah. <laughs> and you mentioned entrepreneurial opportunities yeah. as well. How have some of these things beyond the obvious impacted your life? Okay, so um, beyond the support, I mean, I'm a medical doctor. I couldn't have been without the support of Comfort. So that that is the icing on the cake. But um, I've learned a lot of things through Comfort. Uh, I tend to put myself out there and apply myself in situations because of the many trainings I've got as a Comfort beneficiary. Um, aside that, how do I put this? I'm into things, a lot of things that I otherwise would not have been in if I hadn't gotten all the training that I got through Comfort. So for me, yeah, it, it molds you into a whole individual that fits so into it gives, society. It gives you a more holistic education. Yeah, it yes, everything. It. Yes, yeah, it makes you try new things all the time, <laughs> all <laughs> the time. Wonderful. Now, Ushira, let's talk about you. You are the founder of the Learners Girls Foundation. Yes. What is the Learners Girls Foundation? Okay, Lenny's Girls Foundation is a startup non-profit organization okay. I formed in 2020 and we are into empowering... And you formed this at the height of the pandemic. Wow. Yes, please. Wow. <laughs> when there was lockdown and uh, we see that students we had no hope, most of us were, especially the remote communities, it's like you were just back home because the only place you can learn is school and now there was no more school. Yeah, so this was when we started by supporting children with free tuition and mentorship and also access to books. So uh, along the pandemic, we found that there was no uh, library in our community mm -hmm. and with my team, we were able to construct a library from scratch and launch it last year, stocked it, our 2,000 plus books and complete it. Yeah. <laughs> So what kinds of members do you have on your team? Is it all I mean, women, men? Are they young, old? Yeah, we are youth. Most of us are still pursuing our uh, first degree. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we have a mixture of both male and females, and we are just uh, enthusiastic people who want to go into community development. I think that's important. So here at City FM, City TV, we celebrate Heritage Month every March. And this year, the theme is Make It Ghana. We are talking about tourism investment and then also film and how even as individuals, we should make sure we invest in our community, not just mon in a monetary yeah. sense, but giving back. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> they've given you to us. Yeah. You know, through their support, they've given you to us. But Vishira, the question I want to ask you before I come back to Doc is, your experience with Comfed and the support that you've received, how has that helped you to do the things that you've done? Yeah, um, aside the scholarship packages supporting you in school, like my colleague John mentioned, uh, the leadership package itself is a whole uh, thing on its own. We go for um, Change Makers Congress, uh, that, that's the exciting <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, we go to leadership programs, trainings with, um, um, what's the name, aspects in that particular uh, area. I would say my social work, uh, I've been speaking in international book fairs like Frankfurt Book Fair last year, uh, Bologna Book Fair in Italy, and all this has come into me because I've been trained through the master, uh, sorry, the Camp Fed leadership programs. Okay. So, and also the community activism in the Camp, the Camp Fed Association, mm -hmm. we do community give back, and also this comes into play with my nonprofit work. We are into education and also learner guide programs. And in Camp Fed, mm -hmm. we have the learner guide program as well. Mm -hmm. So most of this come, we have uh, programs in line and I'll say that Comfort has shaped my ideas into humanitarian works. Congratulations Thank on Thank you. <laughs> Thank you Comfort for creating this gift for society. Now Doc, I'll come back to you, a medical doctor. Yeah. And I haven't, I, I mean, I, ha I haven't met you before today, mm -hmm. but I can tell that you don't just go to the hospital or to the ward and do the basic things. No. <laughs> so how are mm -hmm. you impacting lives, changing lives? in your everyday work as well? In my everyday work, um, I tend to see my patients as my own, like my family, because I wouldn't want somebody that I'm close to to be treated in a certain kind of way. So for every patient that I meet at a hospital, I think this could be somebody related to me. How would I want that person to be treated? And this, I think, is because of the things that Comfort has taken us through. Every single semester while we were in school, there was something new that was happening, some new training. 
some some way that they bring your humanitarian part into play i think that is all the things that have shaped me into the person that i am and for me i'm not just a doctor because um there is something that i'm more passionate about aside medicine and that is helping persons living with disability and that's something that my foundation is into and this is all because comfort or the comfort association mem members are all a network of young women who are out there creating the most amazing changes that you could <laughs> never think about. And every time you hear these stories, it kind of empowers you to want to do more. Yeah. Why are you particularly interested in persons living with disability? Because I live with a disability myself, so I'm more interested in you that. You look very able to me, my love. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That is why I'm very passionate and, about and that. I'm glad to hear that. It seems like even just being associated with Comfort has also given both of you the courage yeah. to live your true lives yeah. and use that to we better talk. yourselves, but also the communities and, and the people around you. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> but now we've talked a lot about karma. You keep mentioning karma, yeah, the Comfort yeah. Association, karma. Yeah. Any of you can take this. Can you tell us more about sure, the Comfort yeah. Association? So Kama is a network. I'm actually enthusiastic about it because <laughs> every talk. time I, I come into contact with karma members, it's, it's always fresh because you are hearing something that someone is doing, something amazing. And sometimes you wonder, this young lady is out there creating this much change. In fact, I don't think there's a Kama member that isn't doing anything to effect change in the society. Mm -hmm. For me, Comfort Network is about over 50,000 young women who have received support and who are out there creating change one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And today, most of them are out there doing something else, something different, creating the change that we need to bring being change makers and that is what comfort is all about wonderful now it seems like all of you who are members of Kama, or at least most of you you've had an education yeah so how are you as members of the association also helping other young women young girls to stay in school because that's a big problem we are facing yeah. now any you want, yeah you yeah want to so as uh, comfort uh, association members uh, we are people sisterhood who have gain the support of comfort, beneficiaries of comfort. And so we give back to our communities through our programs, uh, educational support, and also we give uh, emotional support as well, mm. like mental health and other programs for our younger ones. And also um, like Kama activities, today's International Women's Day. Yes. Most of our Kama members in the mm. district, we are going into, for distance, my district, Asna Nankana West District, we are doing a donation to the maintenance um, health side in the hospitals in our district and also others are going to do their best and some are donating books to schools and others so these are ways that we are supporting then uh, sisterhood and also our communities in the district it's brilliant yeah brilliant Thank you. i'm so proud to listen to you ladies <laughs> you have no idea yeah so today is international women's day yeah. we, we've all said that in different ways at different points what's the theme this year? I know Comfort always has yeah. there's the yeah, yeah, general yeah, yeah. theme the global theme yeah. which is embrace equity mm -hmm. the UN women are also saying digital mm -hmm. um, you know digitize the technology using that to include all women in equality yeah. what's Comfort's theme this year for international yeah, I think that's all she yeah say it together okay so I'll count you down okay. Okay. Count of three. One, two, three. we, we are, are game, game changers, changers. <laughs> Well, no surprise yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no surprise there. We are game You're changers. You're game changers. Yeah. Yeah. And you are, and yeah. all the things you've said have proven that. Yeah. But what are you doing specifically to mark the day? Okay, so we are here today. Like I mentioned earlier on, other women are also somewhere. Uh, radio stations, we are engaging in um, the mother support units, we are engaging the teacher mentees. So a lot of activities are going around the whole Ghana, in fact, to mark the celebration of the International Women's Day with comfort. And the Kama members, trust me, are out there doing amazing <laughs> things, very amazing I things, don't doubt touching it. lives, activism here and there, donations here and there, um, involving mothers to help in the support of their children. So all these are things that are going on out there. In your opinions, how can women overcome barriers and achieve their fullest potential? I'll start with you, Bushia. Yeah, so um, as a woman myself, I think our biggest challenge is always the emotional side. Yes, we are so emotional. So uh, I'll say that um, we should have um, emotional support for women, counseling sessions, and also um, in terms of uh, development, we should have career transitioning guidance for uh, 
women mm -hmm. like Camp Fred. We have the mentorship sessions and also we have transition periods where when you are leaving from school we have conferences and trainings for you to go. And also going into digitalization, I think uh, there is a gap in the gender uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to digitalization. So it's high time we have programs or motivational sessions on going into STEM careers and then also getting our younger women to uh, understand what STEM is about and what is at stake when you go into it. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. How about you, Doc? I don't really have much to say about I think my colleague has said everything. Yeah. But for me, I think um, women need to see that women are doing the most out there. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Say I think please repeat that. <laughs> women need to see that women are doing the most out there. So, because for me, if I see that somebody, for instance, I heard there's a lawyer who lives with cerebral palsy. And for me, that's something that you don't see every day. You understand? So if I should see someone like this or someone who lives with cerebral palsy should see this person, it would encourage them and motivate them to know that regardless what circumstances that they find themselves in, so long as they think it and so long as they want it and persevere and work at it, they can achieve it at all costs. So I think women need to see that, yes, I'm a woman, I'm in a rural area somewhere, probably no electricity, nothing, but there are women who have come from these places who have made the best out of their lives and are still making it out there. So if they see this, for me, I think it will serve as an encouragement to daily to encourage them to keep doing more. Wonderful. Thank Do you. Do you have any final words or a special message? You said so much and everything you said is so inspiring. Thank you. But do you want to say anything specific, anything that I haven't said already to all women who are watching us and especially Ghanaian women in Heritage Month, while we are making it Ghana, we are also making noise about the things that Ghanaian women are doing. Yeah. You want to say anything? Okay, so my message to uh, my colleague women or sisterhood is that um, you should believe in yourself. Whatever you are doing, you should trust the process and then keep moving. We are proud of you and we all here, we appreciate the work you are doing at your various corners. And also you should keep on moving forward and never give up. Thank you. I just have like two sentences. <laughs> women are bosses. Ooh. So know that you are a boss and own it that you are a boss. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you're phenomenal. And let me just say once again that Comfort Ghana is doing brilliant things. And these two ladies here, Joanna Bouchia, they are evidence of that. And over the past, I think, year and a half, we've had so many women, young, old, from all walks of life from across the country, come here and tell you their stories, show you the things they're doing. Some of them are producing mass market products. Some of them are doing brilliant things in education, in the NGO space. Some of them are working in medicine. Some of them are working in the arts. Across a plethora of areas and sectors, women are doing things. And Comfort has helped maybe a woman who lives next door to you, yeah. whom you may not have seen before. So if you're watching this program this morning, or watching Breakfast Daily, I want you to take down these details. If you know a girl, a young woman who needs support to go to school, who just needs a sisterhood, maybe wants to be a part of the Kamala Fund, uh, uh, you know, or just speak to these ladies who they've seen today, yeah. please. Comfort Ghana Accra. The address is 64 Lagos Avenue, East Lagos. 64, that's 64 Lagos Avenue, East Lagos in Accra. And if you want to send snail mail, write a letter, whatever it is, pour your heart out, P.O. Box MD 2387 Medina. P.O. Box MD 2387 Medina Accra. And if you just like to give a phone call, 0302 544 224 or 0302 544 And you can send an email as well, ghana at comfed.org. And the website is www.comfed.org. And if you're watching us from outside of Ghana, yes, you can use these, detail, these details as well. If you're using the phone number, just remember to use the country code plus two three three. And please, if you meet a Kama member or you meet a woman who you know, or you are a Comfort woman, <laughs> yeah. please tag Comfort on social media today. Use the hashtag International Women's Day and let's celebrate the great things that Comfort is doing in the community for women. Ladies. Thank yeah. you so much Thank for joining you. us. For having us. And inspiring us yeah. with your personal journeys and also the things that Comfort is doing as an organization. Self Thank pleasure. you so much. Yeah. So you. I've had here Dr. Joanna Gunab. She's a Comfort Association member and she's a medical doctor as well. And we've also had Bushia Alira Kumoriwo. 
She is a Comfort Association member too, and she's the founder of Learners Girls Foundation. Let's go for a break, and when we come back, we'll be wrapping up here on Breakfast Daily. I go.